god. Good morning. We're doing a twin build Bronco for ours. This is uh, pretty much the spitting image of our Bronco. So Sasquatch, Badlands. Uh, it's got the you know the reservoir. It's got a zone two inch on it right now, and we're pretty much doing the same exact thing we did to ours with a five inch and a little half inch level in the front to bring it up to where it actually sits level because ours. We did a corner, a quarter inch, and we didn't know how it was going to sit, so we're going to put this one a quarter inch higher in the front. That way, it sits completely level. So. Are we paint matching this one too? I don't think so. Oh wait, no. We're yeah, <laughs> yeah. Soft talk. <laughs> yep. Good morning everybody, welcome back to the videos. Um, this week I'm going to bring you along for a little bit of a shop vlog. We've done this before but obviously we are in the new shop now. Excuse my office, it's a little bit of a mess, we're still getting settled in. But I'll show you guys around, the showroom is starting to come together. Um, we've got some wheels up on the wheel displays, still got a little bit more to do. I am working on some rebranding stuff. Okay, so in it? Yeah, I'm sure. You good right now? Mm -hmm. As I was saying, I'm working on some rebranding stuff. Um, so we will have new apparel, new logos, um, trying to modernize Two Brothers, make it less of the local tire shop and more of a you know, national known brand that you guys want to get wheels from or bring your trucks, cars, whatever here to have stuff done. So that will all be coming soon. I'm not going to reveal anything on that yet, but we did just have a meeting about it. Um, I'm super excited about what we're working on. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take you guys around the shop today and show you what's going on and check it out. Hi, yeah, this is Austin up here at uh, Two Brothers Tire and Automotive in Cleveland, Tennessee. Put some tires on today, got some wheels going on today. Got another Bronco we're doing a uh, setup kind of like our shop Bronco minus the beadlocks. AB down here doing nothing like always. Ah, <laughs> man's always with Man, I'm on the phone. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> on the phone bro what we getting bill what for lunch if i'm buying we're going to like mcdonald's or something bro dollar menu you don't pay me enough for this let's do let's do the hippie today we're doing hippie today what's up if you ain't been to the hungry hippie food truck you need to try because it, it is fire hungry hippie food truck shout out to my boy russ is that hey is that the one that you were talking about having I need, I need the, to hit him up. hey are you gonna go pick it up gary why yeah why don't you get it if he's free on November the 12th. I was planning on hitting him up today anyways, but if we're gonna, if we're gonna get that for lunch, let's see. Yeah, tell him, if he's asking if he's even interested, and then tell him to call me. Lunch is handled. The most lunch important. and a new vendor for Look, the day. And hopefully a new vendor. Come on, Russ, don't let me down. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Two Brothers. My name's Jake. I work here. <laughs> <laughs> Coming along pretty quick. Probably over halfway done. It's about 11:30. A lot easier this time. Oh yeah. Yeah, we know exactly what to do now. Yep. All the modifications we got to do the rough country parts. There's a two inch zone kit on it right now and it's the Badlands edition so it's got the reservoir so they come factory kind of leveled out already an inch and a half higher than a normal Bronco and we are putting the five inch rough country on and then on top of that we're doing 
a one inch or half inch spacer on top of all that. So that way it'll level it out all the way. So. Really, I think it's going to be bigger than that. Yeah. I think it'll sit about seven, seven eight inches. Because that makes up two of those. As long as Didn't you long. just say just now that you know what you're doing? Yeah, we do. Yeah. We're just, yeah. Just, yeah. We're just doing some math. <laughs> All right, I don't know if you guys remember this Jeep from a little while ago. We did a, uh, was it Evo full link kit? Yeah, it's an Evo four link kit, front and rear with king coal overs. Pretty, pretty sick setup, um, but you guys just did new flares, new... Yeah. Uh, so we did put new fender liners in it from Evo as well. Uh, front and rear both. We were supposed to be putting some rock sliders on it. But with that Evo kit, we're not sure if it's going to work or not. We might have to fabricate something to make that work. We've got kind of like a like a KC style light bar rack, but it's uh, LEDs to the top and it has mounts to go right here. Waiting on these brackets to mount that up there. Uh, we need a new front bumper. This right here kind of you know change up from what we used to have on there, and still got to put the winch on it. It came in and said he wants 30 rock lights, and if that's not bright enough, then do more. So. I just went ahead and did 40 on it. So this thing is bright. But he's got this, this, this cool thing. It's called Switch Pros, which is brand new to me. Never heard of it before. And it's a very intricate system. And it ties in together every light, any electronic accessory that you could want. Right here, it's got the block that controls everything, power wire, some heavy duty outputs that are rated to 35 amps. And then you've got 17 outputs for 15 amp. You got this run right here for the rock lights. This has a panel inside about this big. It's got 12 buttons on it. You can run each one of those buttons to have four outputs. So say you wanted to put the rock lights and the light bar on one switch, then you hit it once to turn the rock lights on, hit it again to turn on the light bars. Stuff like that. You can make them flash. a lot of a lot of customization, basically. A lot of you customization. Can make them flash, make, make them strobe, flash. anything you want. So right now I've got the rock lights set up. Hit switch one once, they come on. Hit it twice and they'll strobe, which looks really cool. But that's brand new to me, and it's a great system. It kind of centralizes all of your electrical connectors. It's got all the you know the buses built into it, the fuses, everything, and it can tell if something's hooked up wrong or something goes wrong with it and it'll kill the power to that switch. So it's a great system. Damn that's cool. Yes yeah, so you can control it from that switch panel inside or they have an app you need the app really you can control everything and then that's how you set up things switches to do different things go to different outputs do different weird things it's all controlled in the app so that's you cool. control it either way <laughs> help me get down <laughs> good job tanner thanks man of course, we keep the big F-250 out front because it draws people in. It's so funny, since we've been in here, every single person that drives by is looking at this. Some people even stop to take pictures. If you guys have not yet watched the previous video on this truck, go back and give it a watch. Really, really awesome build. We also have the build series on the channel of this truck, too. You want to the, the, the old neon, neon on that? Make it to the Two Bros? To the Two Bros YouTube build? It's on there. Uh, you make it like a king or something, man. Right? Can you put some hair on the set? <laughs> no hair, bro. Yeah. Wax that baby. Need a mirror? All right, you guys have not seen anything on this yet, and you won't, but Matt is working on the, uh, the R8 the twin turbo setup. That will be in a future video to come. But as you can see, everything is torn apart. This is actually the transmission back from being built. So we're gonna make some, uh, some pretty crazy power with this thing. This is the Boost Logic twin turbo setup. But like I said, that'll be for another video. We got some cheese bread. We got all going. We got some pizza. Oh yeah. Did I get you some? Can't beat that. I'll, I'll get some in a minute. All right. Shout out to Nathan Derek for the uh, for the pizza. We appreciate it, man.
lower in a Lambo. Nice. What was it you said this thing looked like the other day? A Venza. A Toyota Venza. <laughs> <laughs> Could have got that for like, I don't know, 108 grand cheaper. It's a really, 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 really expensive Toyota Venza. That's what it is. It's got a bunch of other words that I can't pronounce. <laughs> what do these do? Them. Flux capacitor wires. Yeah. Got it. I don't know, bro. Look, look they're like, they're capped. I don't know. They were underneath the, like, spare tire tray. Put them back. How much are these cars? Put them back. How much are these cars? You don't even get a spare tire with them. You get that. Put them back. Liam, they should hire some other size to do this. What? They should hire some other size to do this. I can't hear anything. I don't fit in the trunk very well. If you own one of these, don't kidnap a family. Ready for what? Pull it out. I pulled it out. No, you didn't. Just hand me the green thing and then you're going to stick the wire up through it. How about the exhaust? Can I wrap it around the exhaust? No, I don't need to be wrapped around the exhaust neither. Right. Is this like going to be on the shop blooper reel? Bill, there is, there is condensation in your, in oh, your light. Yeah. I've already saw. Yeah, it's great. Perfect. <laughs> what are these? <laughs> That's what we're trying to figure out. What'd you ask? They're listening to him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They bugged you. <laughs> Your antennas. Yeah. You know how in like hotel rooms when they have those mini fridges mm -hmm. and you like take a drink off of it, it's a sensor that recognizes that you <laughs> took the drink. Yeah. That's what that is to tell you to, to tell them that you modified the car. That's what that is. It recognizes that you put bags in here. Yeah, and then it, it then it charges you another four hundred thousand yeah. dollars. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ice cream truck. Maybe it's for the tire pressure to spray tire. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was like, we don't know. I was like, were they just laying in? Yeah, they're, they're laying underneath that. I pulled it out so I could get in there and it, like, these are these are just chilling. I was like, ooh, I don't know what those are. They ain't important. Yeah, I was going to say. Non-important wires. Leave them as they lie. All right, so you got the app here. You preset in the app and link it to the vehicle. That way you don't have to have the app each time. But you got your drive modes right here. You got Comfort, Sport, Corsa, and I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Off road, what we'll call it. Yeah, put it in Comfort. We've got our presets here. We can leave this factory zero millimeters so it's not dropped at all. In comfort mode. Put it in Sport. You can see we've got 10 millimeters of uh, lowering front and rear, which is you know nice middle of the road. And then Corsa, which is your dynamic or your race, and we can just slide and set this thing basically wherever we want it, save it. Once it's saved, throw the phone away, ready to rock and roll. Hell yeah. Also got show mode, which will fully deflate the bags and air this thing out. So what's the verdict between this and our SQE? Uh, I'll gap that. I'll gap it for it. We'll wait and see. Bro, I've, already, and see. I've already got uh, stuff coming for this one. You don't know. Oh, yeah? The RSQA lays out better, looks better, <laughs> runs better. Hey, this is the big boy version of the RSQ8. Yeah, the RSQ8 is the wish version. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's got the Audi that Bill will sell it. <laughs> he's got the wish, <laughs> wish.com. <laughs> Six. Yeah, what do you think? What do you think, YouTube? How's it look? Yeah. Put it up Ronald up. McDonald here. <laughs> <laughs>
Alright guys, thank you for tuning in for this week's video. We will be back next week for another video. Let me know in the comments if you guys are liking these more informal shop vlogs. Um, it's kind of cool to just show everything that happens in as, as much of a raw format as possible. Um, I feel like you guys get to know some of the guys here at the shop a little bit. And talking of getting to know us, um, we are having our opening house. Opening house? We are having our open house November 12th. Here's the flyer for it. Um, if you guys are able to come out, that would be awesome. We're gonna have plenty of cars and big trucks on display. We also have some vendors, and I'm super excited to announce those here very, very soon. Yeah, it should just be a good chance for you guys to come out, see the shop, maybe see some of the guys, and also I will be there filming. So there'll be lots of good content that comes from that. And I am working on merchandise stuff. We're doing a little bit of a rebrand, changing up some of our logos, and we'll have some new merchandise stuff here at the shop for you guys to buy in our showroom. Um, I didn't get a chance to show you guys our showroom in this video, but I'm gonna do a full tour of the shop here very, very soon. So stay tuned for that, and also stay tuned for the R8 video, because as you guys just saw, it's coming along nicely. Not quite there, but we are hoping it's gonna be done for the open house um, and obviously we'll have a video on the car too and if you guys need any work done please give us a call or reach out to us on any of our various uh, social platforms and also follow us on TikTok. I've been posting a lot more content on there um, and we're growing a big, big audience on there. It'd be nice to see some of those people come over from TikTok to uh, the YouTube as well but if you guys are not subscribed on here please subscribe. Got plenty of things coming and yeah we'll see you for another video next week. See you guys.